It's time for the Sport Corner CM Hockey League News. Wow, what a save by Dree. Corey Day shoots, he scores! Ooh, what a hit by Brad Wilson. The Sport Corner CM Hockey League News is brought to you for the second season in a row by Big Chili Magazine and their publisher, Colin Hastings. In their latest issue, there is a touching article titled Back in Time, October 6th, 1976, Student Demonstrations Crushed, which is about the tragic event of the squashing of the Tamasat University demonstration that came to a brutal and bloody end in how it was covered by the forum press. Welcome to the third season of the Sport Corner CM Hockey League News, brought to you for the second year in a row by the Big Chili Magazine. <laughs> Big news this year is I have a co-host. Joining me this year is Zach. Welcome to the show. Pleasure to be here, Dom. So, we just had our draft party, which we let all the players know who are on what teams. And Zach, what did you think? It was a lot of fun. You know, I like the fact that there is some diversity there, and it's a little bit of a surprise for the players as well, right? Yeah, absolutely, because they don't know, or they're not supposed to know, who's on what team. So, Let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> some people might have known, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, as far as I know... Nobody knew what team they were going on. so, And that's fun, right? A lot of players get to think, oh, who am I going to be matched with? Who am I going to be paired with? Last year I was playing with this crew, you know, mm-hmm. and I hated playing against them. That was one of the funniest things for me. Is almost all the captains said, you know, I was like, who did I really hate playing against last year? Yeah. Okay, instead of you being on the opposing team, you're going to be on my team now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was the strategy for a lot of guys this year. I was really, I thought that was quite funny. So we're going to start off with the aware team. There's been some big changes. Um, one of them is Harrison Ottstemel, last year's points leader. Um, sorry, last year's scoring leader, not points leader. He played for the Spitfires last year. This year he's been transferred, or he's been, tra- not traded, he's been drafted to the aware. So how do you think that's going to change things up? Um, I think aware has had two really good seasons. And they just need something that will bump them over the edge to give them that cu- the SHL Cup. Um, I think Harrison might be one of those key points for them. And it was more of an offensive change there. Yeah, definitely. Defensively, how do you think they're going to stack up? Well, defensively, they have some of the best defensemen in the league. Um, Patrick uh, Limbach. Sorry, Patrick Lumbach. Sorry about that, Patrick. Patrick Lumbach is absolutely one of the best defensemen in the league, and he's the captain of the aware. But they also picked up Yohani, which is they got him from Expedia, who is just, he's just phenomenal. So, uh, and then they've also got Christian, and they also picked up Roman and Kaylee, who are really strong defensemen. Roman is coming all the way from Patia to play this year. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to have some diversity in the group as well, having people moving around. You guys mm-hmm. mentioned you have some new players coming in yes. from around Thailand, so that's pretty exciting. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, the wear picked up uh, three Patia players, which uh, we've got Roman, Matt Siegel, and Dmitry Maslov. Uh, two of those are Russian, which is pretty cool. Yeah, the one thing I also really noticed that is exciting for me coming in is seeing the diversity of the league. Mm-hmm. We've got players from all over the globe. Yes, Absolutely. On the opposite side of the spectrum, who is aware lost, which might affect them? Ooh, that would be Corey Day. And Corey went to the Spitfires this year, so that'll be quite interesting. In terms of their style of play, how do you feel like aware is going to be playing this year? I think they're going to be quite aggressive uh, coming out the gate. They have a strong goaltender behind them again this year for the second year in a row um, with uh, Patrick Leduc. Um, You know, they've got really strong forwards in Harrison, Pooh, and Winnie, and then adding uh, Dimitri, Matt into the mix, and then with their strong defense, I think they're going to play. Re- they're going to be really solid this year. It's going to be exciting to watch them. I think so. So what about Hertz? What do you think? It was interesting to see some of the moves they had as well. It's, as we mentioned, a lot of fun to see the rationale of the captains and what they felt like they were lacking and how they could change things up from the previous year and it was really uh, comical to see Justin up there <laughs> well yeah Justin is great I mean he is a stand up comedian so he, he always mixes that in even when I do the player of the game interviews when he's won one he's just he's a riot and then the start of the season game so or the start of the season interviews when I interview all the captains he's so much fun um they one of the people they kept this year was Andy Bryan. They hand him. He was a really strong. He's one of the top defensemen in the league. But this year, Justin wants him to play forward. How do you think that's going to change his game? Uh, knowing Andy, 
Not much. He, he, he's he's a he's a, a very aggressive defenseman, and he's been playing forward a lot in the off season. So it it'll be fun to watch him play. Good. Who do you think, off the top of your head, is going to be their scoring leader? Ooh, let's see. Um, I think that's going to be Moncorn is really strong. He can, he moved over from the aware, and he is also he's got a great shot, great eye on the net, Justin. Great playmaker. Um, Steven Sproul, he's one of those guys that he just happens to always be in the right place at the right time. So Good. And how do you think they stack up defensively? Defensively? They've got some pretty good defensemen. They've got Yachty, who's one of the greatest defensemen in the, in the league. Uh, I mean, he's right up there with Patrick and Yohani. Um, they've also got Yeen. He's got an unbelievable shot. He's like one of... He's like it looks like he's put nothing into his shot, but he just rockets them. Sneaks up on you, yeah. Yeah, it's it's unbelie- unbelievable. And then we've got a new player in Danny, uh, Danny Bolcher, who uh, is a Canadian. He he subbed a few games last year, but he's he's a quite a strong defenseman. And and Ralph coming back this year, so it's really good for them. How do you think they stack up in net? Dream is a really strong tie uh, tie goaltender. Uh, he had a really good season last year, and he had a good season the first year before that. So. Um, I think if he can keep his head in the game, he'll be really good. And they're the defending champions, so I think it's going to be interesting. A lot of people are probably going to come into the new season with them as the target on their back, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, so Justin's got to keep his head up, that's for sure. So next we have our new team. Uh, we have a new gold sponsor this year, which is True Hockey. Um, which is captained by Mike Wilson this year. Another, we've got some really strong defensemen, and he's one of those. Um, they picked up a new player, Eddie McConnell, um, Kim Lidberg, and uh, Jesse Ster- Soda. And I, I apologize if I pronounce your name wrong. You just have to tell me how you pronounce it next time. But uh, they also picked up Adrian from the Spitfires. That's pretty... That was a big change, I heard. Yeah, because he's played for the Spitfires for two years in a row. And um, it was my understanding that he liked playing for the Spitfires. So when they snuck him out of there, it was, it was quite interesting to see that happen. And I think that's good in some ways, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Diversity. I think that the league made it very clear that they wanted some balance, right? Some parity among the different teams. And they made it clear as well that a new a change for this year is y'all going to have a draft deadline. Yes, a uh, trade deadline. Trade, excuse me, trade deadline. Yep, absolutely. Uh, they've always allowed trades. Uh, the first season, they kind of put it at the, the Christmas New Year's break. Um, we haven't decided on when it's going to be this year. But, yeah, it would be interesting to see who makes what trades, if they make any trades. So far, nobody's made any trades in the first two seasons. So we'll see what happens. So with the new true team, who do you think is going to be the top scorer? Ooh, I'll tell you what. My bet is going to be Justin. Um, not Justin, sorry, John, uh, Jordan Ashton. He, um, in one game against Hertz last year, early in the season, he scored six goals in the first period. Wow. And the first five goals were like in the first five minutes of the game. So I'm, I'm really looking uh, to see what he can do this year, if he can keep up that style of play. You know, um, Maybe he's surprised a lot of people last year. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And uh, Kim is also a really strong player. And our first season's um, points winner, John Cheknovsky, the the president of the SHL, he's also on uh, True this year. So it'll be quite interesting. How do you feel like their players are going to match up with their desired style of play? Well, let's see. uh, Based off of what they did last year, they made some really important moves, um, choosing to pick up some more dynamic players. Mike made a, what I feel some really good choices there, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they how he balances out his lines. But uh, I think he made some wise choices. And how do you feel like they stack up on the blue line? Ooh, well, we've got Alex Phelps, who is new to the SHL this year, but um, he's a really strong defenseman. Uh, Mike Wilson, uh, Adrian, really strong. It and Peter are all really strong. So it'll be in. I sound like I'm saying they're all really strong in the defense, but we've got a great set of teams this year. So it, it'll be interesting. Um, if some of the key players can keep their heads about them, which uh, I understand sometimes is very, very difficult, I think they should do really well. And how about Lance and Nett? 
Lance. Lance is great. Lance is an interesting player. Uh, interesting goaltender. When he's on, he does, he makes these saves like he stands on his head to make saves. It's just unbelievable. But when he's off his game, it's really ugly. You know. So it's if he can start like he ended last year. He was last year's. Uh, MVP for the playoffs. If he can start off the season how he ended last season, I think he's going to be really. He'll he'll be able to outdo all the other goaltenders. That's a key for a lot of players, right? It's going yeah. to be consistent. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So next up, uh, the we have a uh, the Spitfires, which is now this year going to be the Novotel Spitfires. Uh, we've brought on another new co-sponsor, so that that's quite exciting. Yeah, that's good for the league. Uh, Novotel is an international brand. Absolutely, great exposure. Mm. Um, and like I said before, they picked up Corey Day, one of the consistent, consistently high scorers in the league, and he's fast. And it's just amazing to watch him play. You'll be, I think you'll like to see him play. So I'm excited fun. to see. Yeah. Is he going to be your pick for the top scorer on the Spitfires? Uh, I think it'll be between him and Brendan Vick. So how's um, Brendan's game different? Brendan, he he's not quite as fast. But he's got a great shot, and they both have really good eyes on the ice. Um, I, it's hard to match Corey Day's speed on the ice, you know. But uh, Brendan is quite solid, and he, he's, uh, he's a great playmaker as well. Um, not saying that Corey's not a good playmaker. He makes a lot of good plays, but he, he can score a few more goals than Brendan. Defensively, how do you think Spitfires are going to stack up the show on the blue line? Defensively, they have uh, a new player in uh, Ken Kinborn, who has played in uh, Sweden. Uh, and uh, Matt Johnson, Tommy, come over. Carly Hill, returning female player. She's really strong on defense. And, of course, they have their captain, Brad Wilson. Um, Solid, solid defenseman that can also step up in the play when he's when it's needed. So that that's that'll be really good for him. And then back in net they have Eve. Eve, yeah, Eve again. Uh, if he can stay injury free, he's a great goaltender. Um, he we will be missing him for the first six weeks of the season because he has a, a, a broken toe, if I'm not mistaken. So, in but once he gets back, he'll he'll be really solid. He's had a good break, so he should be able to stay injury free this year. Do you know who's going to be their primary backup? Not yet. We have uh, there's a few people that we have in mind, um, but it's a matter of the SHL settling contracts with other with our substitute goaltenders. Sure. So, yeah. all right. So, fun. do you have any questions about the SHL? Oh boy, I've got more than I can even think of. <laughs> so, I, for all, all you guys who don't know, I'm a little introduction about me. I'm from the United States. I grew up in the South in New Orleans, and uh, hockey's not as big down there. Right? We play our football, but I grew up in my later life in Chicago. Okay. And coming to Chicago over the last decade now with Kane and Taves and a uh, number of other players who have come and really resurrected hockey there has been mm-hmm. special to be able to watch. So I really enjoy seeing the NHL, and obviously. A blessing to have some of the best hockey players in the world come and play in our league. So it's going to be fun to see a different alternative style. So you're a big Johnny Oduya fan. I am. Uh, I got to watch him win cups with the Blackhawks, and uh, he's just an all-around really good guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was so shocked when I heard the news that he had come here and how much he's quite a few times exactly how he's helped bring about hockey in Thailand. Mm-hmm. I can't I can't hats off to him, you know, for all he's done. Yeah, and he he uh he does a scholarship for one young Thai player every year. Uh not every this is the second year he's done it. He also sponsors the regular season MVP. You know, so he's he's amazing and I've got to play on the ice with him and be his defensive partner, which was uh, man, he's incredible. Vision on the ice. I've never played with anybody like it, obviously, because, I mean, NHL is, so it's just awesome. As a fan, watching him play, just excellent puck-moving defenseman. Mm. Thanks Thanks again, Johnny. All right. Um, That's all for this week, so we'll see you at the rink on Thursday, and our opening ceremony starts at 8.20. See you then. The opposite was very strong. I, I was good. The Sport Corner CM Hockey League News is brought to you by Big Chili Magazine, the best read expat lifestyle and news magazine in Thailand. It covers interesting issues in Bangkok and the region while bringing its readers engaging stories and various exclusive interviews, food reviews, and more. 
You can find The Big Chili Magazine in bookstores and online at thebigchili.com.